hello again. If you're new to our channel, my name is Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And with everything going on nowadays, we are trying to do our best to stay healthy, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. We're also looking for ways to be able to build up our immune system mm. so that we can fight against germs we come in contact with on a daily basis. Very true, Victoria. And one thing that we have done, you and I have done for many years now to try and stay healthy is to make our green juice or our green drink. When you think about it, Victoria, we have been hairdressers uh, for many years, the two of us, and we have been able to be relatively healthy despite all the people that we see on a regular basis. Yeah, true. And also think about it as being hairdressers, we're on our feet all day. Mm. We never get a chance to have a long break to have lunch or anything like that. So we need something we can quickly eat or drink that gives us energy to last throughout the day. Um, now there's many different recipes out there for different green juices. Um, but over the years, we've been able to come up with a recipe that we really enjoy and that works well for us. But how about we not only share the recipe with them, but how about we also show them how to make it? Why don't we do that now? All right, that sounds like a plan. Okay, so here we are. We have our vegetables and our fruits ready to be juiced. We have our spinach and parsley in the sink being washed. Uh, we have our a whole pineapple. We have four apples. We have three oranges, uh, three lemons, some ginger, and a bunch of carrots, and some fenucchio or fennel. Um, depending on how sweet you want your juice, uh, depends on how many oranges and apples uh, you will use. The pineapple, I always use a whole one. Um, you can adjust the amount of ginger as well if you like a nice kick uh, to your green juice. So what I usually begin with, uh, first of all, these have all been washed and ready, is I cut the apples into sections. I use a big knife, uh, not this little one here, but I, both, uh, I love both of these kiwis from uh, Thailand. So I quarter them into sections like this. And then I just take out the seeds uh, that would hurt uh, the um, juicer as well. Also too, you want to peel the apples, peel the carrots, um, peel the orange as well as the lemon because these would um, interfere in your juicer. Now, personally, I like to use a slow juicer. I will show that you in a minute when we start to do our juicing. But the difference between a slow juicer and a, and a regular juicer is the slow juicer actually um, takes more of the moisture out of your fruits and vegetables so you get more benefit from that. Whereas a regular juicer, which I had in the States, um, it just, you could feel that the pulp after it, the, you would throw out is still quite moist. So you're throwing out some of the nutrients and some of the juice that you could be drinking. So I'm going to prep these and then I will pick back up and show you how the juicing process. All right, so here we are. We've prepped our fruits and our vegetables, as you can see here. What I like to do is to mix them up uh, before I put them in the juicer so it's easier uh, to juice them. You can see these beautiful, juicy Sicilian oranges. This is the time of year for them. And these are actually a juice orange, so there's gonna be hardly any pulp at all to these. Uh, you can see the lemon that's all been cut up. And we have the fenucchio, which is nice and cubed. Uh, we have apples, we have our ginger, it's all set to go. We have our spinach, as well as our parsley. Uh, a trick with the parsley, I've realized this the hard way, is you wanna make sure you cut your parsley up. Uh, because it's so fibrous, uh, it can jam up a little bit in your juicer. So, let's get started. We'll turn it on, it's gonna be a little noisy, so I apologize for that. So we can start with the apple, put it right in there. And one side is going to have the pulp come out, and the other side is going to have the juice. So let's put some of the vegetables and fruits in there. And you will see the pulp coming out. All right, so let's put some of the pineapple and some of the other vegetables and fruits in there. And you can see the pulp coming out. It's very, very dry. 
You can see the juice coming out in this section here. And we're gonna put some spinach in there just so you can see some of the different juices that come out, the different colors. And it's good to mix them in, like I said before, because one vegetable or fruit will help push the other one through so you don't get any clogging in your juicer. Push that in like that. Did I tell you it's not a, a clean process? You get very messy here. But you can see some of the spinach and see some of the parsley coming through. And hopefully you can see some of the green juice from the spinach and parsley as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to juice this, finish, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so there we are. We finished our juicing. As you can see, it gives us a nice full pitcher of juice plus a full glass. Let's taste it to see how it is. Mmm, delicious. Now, I wish I could say to you that none of the fruit and vegetables were hurt during this episode, but I would be lying. They were actually squeezed to death, hence the juice. And I want to show you to the pulp uh, that is left over. You can see how dry it is. And what we're going to do is, this doesn't go to waste, we're actually gonna put it in our compost and we will use this in our garden when we start planting in the spring. So I hope you enjoy this video. So as I mentioned before the video, the green juice helps build up your immune system as well as it gives you wonderful energy throughout the entire day. But it also has other helpful benefits. Mm. It helps clean out your body from the toxins, as well as it promotes healthy skin and hair as well. That's a good point, Victoria. And don't forget, you can use uh, the green juice to do a one week cleanse to be able to lose weight, especially with bathing suit season right around the corner. Mm. Yeah, very important. Good tip. But for those of us that might find it difficult or challenging to jump right into a one week cleanse, one thing that I find beneficial is starting out with doing um, the green juice for breakfast and then doing it for breakfast and then lunch and then starting the one week cleanse then. That's a really good suggestion, Victoria, because this way you're not going to have um, the cravings that you would if you jumped right into a cleanse, as well as you're not going to feel deprived either. But if you'd like to have the written form of this recipe, you can visit my site at toddandsicily.com and there you will find it. And please also, if you like this video today, please hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when there's a new video that comes out. Well, I guess that's it, Victoria. Sounds good, that's it. Okay, ciao for All now. Right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.